Hey, this is Steve with Dabble Lab, and in this video, I'm going to walk through creating a flash briefing skill and also um, a, uh, a little script or utility for managing the, uh, the content for a flash briefing skill. So setting up a flash briefing skill is super simple. I walked through this in, um, in a tutorial a while back. I'll do it again just so we can see the process. The UI has changed a little bit since the first time that I did this. but. When you log into developer.amazon.com, and for this tutorial, you'll need a, an Amazon developer account and also an AWS account. So you can get a, if you don't have one already, you can get the Amazon developer account at developer.amazon.com and an AWS account at aws.amazon.com. And when you log in to developer.amazon.com, you'll go to uh, Alexa and then your Alexa skills. And right now, uh, I'm working on an account that doesn't have any skills in there just to show you kind of from scratch how to do it. And you would just go create a skill and um, uh, we'll call this news flash. And uh, the next step, we want this to be a flash briefing skill and then uh, create skill. And for flash briefing skills, there is nothing that you need to do. I, you don't need to write any code. Uh, we're gonna write some code for the content manager, but that uh, isn't necessary for creating the, uh, the flash briefing. So uh, customer message, sorry, this flash briefing. Not right now. Okay, and we'll save that. And then you add a feed, and this is where it gets the content for the flash briefing. And so um, I'll show you that in a second here. We'll, we'll fill out the feed information first, and then I'll talk through the, uh, the feed itself. So the preamble is uh, an introduction to the feed. So something like from, um, uh, what we, uh, I think, from news brief, is that what we call this thing? From news brief, and we'll call it the feed name news brief. And how often the content's updated, we'll say daily. And then the content type can be um, audio or text. So when it's audio in the feed, you're referencing URLs to MP3 files. Actually, MP4s too, in some cases, it's. Uh, the documentation doesn't say that it's supported, but there are some flash briefing skills that are working with video. And if you're listening to the flash briefing, or I guess watching the flash briefing on an Echo show, they will play in some cases. Uh, the genre here, and then finally the URL. So the URL is going to point to a JSON file or an RSS uh, feed or file. And the, we're going to use JSON. If you're not familiar with JSON, JSON, the acronym JSON stands for JavaScript Object Notation. And it is just a text file, typically with a .json extension. And so you can open these files in TextEdit or in Notepad if you're working on Windows. And in this example here, I've got this saved out to an S3 bucket. And this is what I walked through in the uh, the last tutorial, but today I'm going. We're going to do the same thing, but we're going to programmatically create the file and push it out to an S3 bucket. But this is this is the format here. So you have multiple um, items, and each of these items is going to get played in the flash briefing. So you can have, uh, I think, up like to like three to five. It's not going to play dozens and dozens of them, but it'll play the most recent. I think three to to five items here. And so each one of these is going to point to a different MP3 file. The format, and I'll leave links out to this stuff in the notes, but the, uh, the format is here and there are two types of items. You can have an audio item, which points to an MP3 file or a, a text item. And a text item, Alexa just reads the, uh, the title or the main text here. Okay, so we're going to do the, uh, the MP3 version. And so, what you want to do uh, for starters is you want to set up an S3 bucket. This is where our content is going to live. And to do this, you need an AWS account. So you would go to aws.amazon.com and then log in and just go to S3 like this. And then in here, you're going to go create a bucket. Um, 
news. And I'm going to call my bucket news brief example. And if that hasn't been used, it doesn't look like it has. Um, you just step through the steps here. The only thing we need to change is we need it to be public. So grant public read access. And then next, and then create the bucket. And now um, this bucket is where I'm going to publish my JSON file that has the feed items. And also in our case, I'm, I'm gonna publish the uh, MP3 files that the JSON file is going to uh, be referencing. So to do that, you can upload the content like this. So you can create your .json file locally on your computer using text edit or notepad. And then you can just upload it here and then reference the URL. Uh, let me just show you that actually. So I've got an example. So you could just do this. And then um, you want to make this public also read and then upload it just like that. And then once it's um, uploaded, you can go and grab, oh, I uploaded it an MP3. That's not what I meant to do. I meant to upload the JSON file. Let me do that. Okay. And we're gonna do this with a script in a second. I just wanted to show you what uh, what's going on here. So then here, um, this is the URL to the JSON file. So once it's uploaded to the S3 bucket, you can see it here. And because we made it public, it's publicly accessible. And then you could just take this URL and paste the URL right in here. And this will work fine. The only challenge with this and what I get a lot of questions about is, well, what happens when I want to update my feed so that I've got um, like a new post for the, the day? And the answer to that is you go, into the AWS console and you re-upload the JSON file. Make the changes on your local computer and then re-upload it and then upload the uh, associated MP3 files that you want to go along with that. And that's a little bit of work because you got to log in here and upload everything. And that's why uh, I worked out a, a, a programmatic way of doing the same thing. And let me show you this. So this, and I'll provide all the code for this so you can edit it and use it and um, do do what you will with it. Um, so this is a pretty simple uh, script and what it's going to do is uh, basically it's going to do two things. It's going to upload media files, so mp3 files from your local computer and then it's also going to create the um, the dot json file the feed file in the proper format so every time you run the script it'll upload the files that you want to upload and then create a up an updated json file uh, along with that and then push them out programmatically to the uh, the uh, s3 bucket and to make this work you uh, you need a couple of things there's a config file that i created and in the config file you need to reference uh, the region that your S3 bucket is in and um, US East 1 is the example that I'm using here. And then you need a, a secret access key and a, a key. So this you'll get from IAM. So if you go in here to IAM, you can set up a user for this if you want or if you've already got users set up, I'll walk through just setting up a user just so you can see. Um, temp, so temp user, and we're going to give this user programmatic access like this, and then um, we're going to attach a policy to the user. And just for this example, I'm going to use uh, administrator access because there's uh, multiple things going on. I mean, you could go through and restrict the uh, the access, which is probably a good idea, but just for the sake of time, administrator access gives this user all access. So I'll just go next and create user. And then here, this is what we need. We need the um, the access key ID and the secret key. The secret key, you never want to show anybody, even though I'm showing it in this video, but I'm going to just delete this user. So you definitely want to keep this um, private uh, 
and especially if it's a, an administrative user like I'm doing right now. But we're going to need this, so I'm going to go back over here to the secret access key and paste that in. And then we also need this uh, access key ID here. And that's going to go here. And then the last thing we need is uh, the bucket name. What did I call that thing? Um, news brief example. So this bucket name here. I can remember that, I think. <laughs> All right, and so that's all I need for the configuration information. And once I have that, then um, I'm ready to go. Uh, all of your media, the individual MP3 files that you, uh, that you want to use, you would put in the media folder. And right now I've just got these like five example MP3 files. And then this, this is the file that you're gonna edit to reference the files that you want to show up in your feed. And so this is a format that I just made up. So um, if you go into, if you've copied the code down, the items.json file, you wanna give each one of your items, and I've got five in here as an example, that, that probably works pretty good, like three to five, any more than that. It, you don't need more than that because they're not gonna get played anyway. So you give uh, each one of your items a, uh, a title, and then um, the file name is gonna reference the MP3 file. You don't need a path or anything as long as this is uh, in the same folder, just the, uh, the name of the file, and you can name these whatever makes sense for you. And then the publish date is the date that um, the item is being published, which the flash briefing really doesn't look at this. It's just going to look at the most recent item. So I don't even know that I necessarily needed that. Probably could have left that out. And then the redirect URL, if there's a URL that is associated with the flash briefing, so maybe a blog post or something like that, you can put that there or just a default URL if you want to do that. And that's what I did in this example here. And so once you have your media files in here and your item.json uh, all configured and your config settings in, you're ready to use it. And so at that point, you would just run the index file here. So you would just do node like this. And if all goes well, so once the, uh, once the file runs, it publishes everything and then it gives you your feed URL here. We can go see there's our feed URL and it creates a, um, a unique ID for each item, um, sets the date based on that date that you put in the, uh, the items.json file and then your title and all that good stuff. And then you can just grab this URL, go back over to your flash briefing and paste it in here and then add and then save. And then, um, yeah, at this point, we can test it out. I am using Reverb because the tester in here doesn't work with audio skills. So Reverb, if you go to, I think it's reverb.io. Reverb.ai. Um, so Reverb.ai, you can get this this app, and they make it for Mac OS, iOS, and Android, and it's a it's a good app for testing. You would just go play my flash briefing. To hear your flash briefing, go to the Alexa app and select at least one category. Uh, wait a second. So I need to enable it first, which I haven't done. Uh, let's see. Yeah, so here I didn't enable testing. So you got to enable testing and then should be good to go here. Play my flash briefings. Here's your flash briefing. From News Brief. This is item one. This is item one. This is item one. This is item one.
This is item two. This is item two. This is item two. This is item so it's just playing through each of those items. And over here, if I refresh the bucket, this is item three. This is item three. This is you'll item see the script uploaded those uh, MP3 files here and then created this feed item here. This and this I can get rid of. And then so if I want to make uh, a change, I would just go in here, add new MP3 files and edit this and then just run the script again. Run this script again and it will upload the new files and uh, regenerate the, um, uh, the feed.json file. So it's just kind of a, um, a time saver. If you want to look at the, uh, the, the code that's doing it, it's pretty simple. It's using the uh, Alexa SDK or excuse me, the AWS SDK to, uh, to communicate or push the stuff to, uh, to S3 and then just basically looping through this items file to get the information to upload the individual MP3 files and then also create the feed.json um, for the feed. So yeah, so that's it. It's, it's kind of a, just a, a, a rough first take, but I think it's easier than doing the, uh, the upload stuff manually. I'm also working on um, something where this could be Put in a database and then scheduled for uh, releases so you could kind of do it all at once and then let it kind of get scheduled to drip out over time and i'll once i finish that up i'll um i'll share that as a tutorial also but hopefully this is helpful if you're managing a flash briefing uh, i hope this will make it a little bit easier i'll leave a, a link to the code so that you can pull it down if you have any questions or uh, comments please leave those and i'll respond just as soon as i can if, um, if you found this valuable, please like the uh, video and subscribe to the Dabble Lab channel. Thanks so much.